let's understand one more screen flow scenario so in this lesson i'm going to create screen flow that will be creating a related opportunity on account record and uh, in this scenario i will be placing the screen flow on account record page so from here i am going to create new flow so i am selecting screen flow so first of all i am going to create a new resource it will be a variable and api is record id so here in this record id i should be capital and others uh, should be small and it is pre specified every time whenever you want to receive id of a record where you will be placing your screen flow so to receive the id of that particular record you need to use this record id as api data type will be text and you need to enable this checkbox because uh, for this flow we will be receiving record id from outside so what we are going to do we are going to create opportunity uh, related to particular account and i will be placing this flow on the account record page so whatever account record you will be opening that account record id will be automatically available in this record id variable because here we just enabled this checkbox now i am going to create a screen flow so it will be having some uh, screen elements and data elements so that we can create related opportunity to account so i am going to create my first screen and uh, labeling it as opp info one so basically i will be creating two separate screens so some of the values i will be retrieving in the first screen and some i will be retrieving in the second screen so on this screen i am just placing a text component which will be receiving the opportunity name and i am making it required then i am just placing one more component that is date so it will be receiving the close date and it is also required so these two components i am placing on this screen opportunity info one and i am clicking on done right now if i go to opportunity record or opportunity tab if i try to create new opportunity so if i leave it blank and click on save so you can see three fields are required opportunity name close date and stays and stays is a pick list so we need to retrieve these pick list values in the flow so in the first screen i already placed opportunity name and close date now i am going to create one more screen and here i am going to use pick list and i am going to provide screen label as opportunity info 2 now this pick list i need to link with the stays field that is available on opportunity object so that we can retrieve all these pick list values which are available here right so what we need to do first of all i am providing the label as stays name then in this choice i am clicking on new choice resource and from here i am going to select pick list choice set so whenever you want to link your pick list component of screen with your pick list field that is available under any object so you need to use pick list choice set so api name is stays name object i am selecting as opportunity data type pick list and field i need to select as stays name if you want to define the sort order so you can choose ascending descending if you want to have default order of field so you can leave it as is and click on done so this way the stays field of opportunity object is linked with this screen pick list component now whenever you uh, like any developer will be updating the stays pick list field under the object so this flow will be having those updated pick list fields sorry those updated pick list values in this pick list component automatically so now i am clicking on done so this way this second screen is also uh, created now i am going to create one more element that is create record element 
so its label is create opportunity how many records to create so i need to create only one record then use separate resources and literals and from here i am going to select opportunity now i need to provide name equals to so on screen we have this opportunity underscore name as text component so i am aligning opportunity name with this name field clicking on add fields so next i need to map close date so we created close date on screen as well so close date is mapped then we need to map the stays so for stays we have two options picklist choice set and screen component so picklist choice set is basically having all the picklist values but the selected picklist value will be available in this screen component so you need to use this and if you want to relate this newly created opportunity with account so on opportunity we have this account lookup account id and you need to map it with record id now i am clicking on done so this way this screen flow is created now i am going to save it so i am naming it as create opportunity on account and clicking on save so this flow is created if you want to debug it so you can but in this lesson i am going to show you like how we can place our flow on record page so instead of debugging from here i am just activating it so that i can place it on the record page so if you want to place your flow on record page or app page or home page anywhere so you need to activate it first now i am moving to accounts tab and i am going to open account record so you can open any account record and uh, if you place your flow on uh, any particular account uh, record page so it will be applied for all the records those are available under this application so you just need to click on this gear icon then click on edit page so app builder lightning app builder is opened and here you can see account record page so if you see here we have one option so you can search flow from here as well and i am just dragging and dropping it here so this flow component is placed now here you will see the list of available screen flows those are activated so we just created create opportunity on account so i am selecting this right now if you remember we created one record id variable that needs input from outside the flow so what you need to do you need to enable this checkbox so that on whatever record whatever account record you are executing this flow so that account record id will be automatically passed to this record id variable now i am just clicking on save you need to activate this record page for particular application because you modified it so i am going to assign it app default for the sales application and clicking on next next and save again click on save and go back so now what will happen for the sales application whatever account record you will open you will see this flow so right now we are on this test account record so flow is available if i open this flow account to here also you can see the flow right and uh, i am going to create the opportunity and right now you can see this record is not having any opportunity so i am going to create this so opportunity 101 close date let's say i am selecting 21st april clicking on next here you can see all the picklist values are available and uh, clicking on next so you can see a related opportunity is created if i open this opportunity and go to details so you can verify like opportunity is having name opp101 close date stage and account name is flow account 
So this way, if you open any account record, so from there, you will be able to create opportunity. So if you want to create opportunity for any other account, so here also you can see opportunity is zero. So I am going to create one more opportunity. So here you can see it is automatically linked to the account. So this way you can create your screen flow and after activation, you can place it on particular objects record page.